Hell yeah, man. Uh, okay, the next question was, um, what did others instruct you to do, or what were you doing before you were working with me? Shit, like I said, I was lost. I was lost. Um, basically, all the memes and shit you be making, that was me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'll be sitting there, I'll be sitting there acting like I'm fucking special. I'm like, you know, what? I was spiritual something at a point. I was fucking, you know what I'm saying? Don't know where the fuck I was doing. You know, not listening to the people's information, or you know, when people presented information to me, uh, not processing it well. Um, just the egotistical shit. Pride was the biggest thing. Like I wasn't able to um, look past what I was currently doing. Like at that at that particular time before I, you know, I came across your shit. I was just like, you know, oh, this shit works, and it really wasn't working. But <laughs> but I dropped the shit. You know, I dropped the shit, and I was like, fuck it. Let me get with some shit. You know what I'm saying? Let me look what he's doing, and then hey, this shit actually worked. Yeah, because the the biggest thing I try and remind people about, it, with, especially with like the characters and the memes, is mm -hmm. the only reason I can make those memes is because I've been all of that. Right, right. You know, I've hit the spiritual center before. You know, I've I've panic pretended, yep. left hand light work. I was doing all of that, and that, you know, it it took me coming out of that, and looking back at what I was doing, and being right. honest with myself to say, hey, look, I was fucking up. You know. And that's that's how I look back on um you know just spending time meditating. Once I had actually got what you were saying through the boot camp, I looked back on all the shit that I fucked up on. I'm like, damn, no, that was my fucking fault. That was my fault. That was my fault. You know, it's everything, my fucking fault. It is, you know, say it is you. It wasn't a fucking you no know, issue. It wasn't anything wrong with that person or that situation. Nope, it was your fault. So you got to understand mm -hmm. how you're doing it. You know what I'm saying? This is me talking to myself. Like, understand how you're doing it, and then. You know, learn from it. Take the L's. Learn from it. Yeah, learning starts with an L, right? Yep, literally. <laughs> I you know, love that shit. shit. Fucking hate the shit, but it is what it is. <laughs> right, it is what it is, man. Yo, that that's that's some serious shit, man. Cause cause it's it feels good to think you already got it, you know? Right. Like you, especially when you're looking at all these Christians are dead niggas and you're like, ha, you guys ain't got it. I'm I'm out here. Look at me. You mm -hmm. know? And it's eh. Yeah, it's it's like, for example, um, when I go boxing and shit, you know, it's easy to go fight a fucking beginner and be oh yeah, I'm better than them, you know. But when you know you start mm -hmm. fighting pro athletes, oh damn, I'm getting my ass beat. What the fuck? Yeah, that's that's the measure. <laughs> that's the, I'm the motherfucker you want me fuck with, you know. So, yeah, you that's know, the measure, exactly. Hell yeah. Well, you out here boxing, man. Shoot. That's what's up. On the low. On the low. <laughs> right? Yeah, look, you don't have to go out here and show everybody you're doing it every time exactly. you're on Instagram. Like, folks be doing that shit ridiculous. They, like, they can't do anything that they do without performing it for somebody, you know? Exactly. But, and I, I go live. Yeah, um, I mean to cut you off. But, um, no, no, you, you go. Know, go ahead. I did it. Um, I do it a little bit not like every fucking day just to show okay this is what happens with my shit because i barely post shit anyway so it's like all right just a little bit but you know i don't go crazy with the shit i might just make another page dedicated to like you know this fitness and shit this outside of the spiritual shit just to yeah, that would help you connect with other like-minded people other people who do that you know right right hell yeah hell yeah all right let me check this next question um all right, cool. And remember, if, if anything, anything you feel or think, you know, hit me with it. I don't mind getting slayed some. You know, that's that's part of the reason I want to do the interview. Um, All right. Do you think or feel that I could have been more clearer on a certain topic or subject? Um. Let me go back to the boot camp, and I'm gonna try to remember a lot of the lobs you did too, because I know I'll be in the lobs. Um. Honestly. All I could really say is, uh, so the analogies you use are pretty spot on, uh, like the video game analogy. Um, uh, hmm. Now this question I actually have to think about because I was thinking, okay, where, you know, what I'm saying, where can I actually spot out some point where he's fucking? Because you know? I know personally, I, got, I guess, I've had I guess, to work on not eating my kids, like not exactly just yep. slaying people. Cause that's the shit I used to fucking do. Um, before I even got to the spiritual shit, I used to be this vulgar as fuck, like this. Even with the bitches, like, damn, bro, you both <laughs> chill out, bro. That's why you ain't getting no bitches. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's the it's the vulgar approach, you know what I'm saying? And it, it's like um you know, and it's 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 gonna be there, it's a part of the personality, but it's like now that I see it, now that I know it's there, it's like Ben 10 type shit. Okay, now I know how to utilize that shit when in, in any given moment, you know what I'm saying? Instead of just being a gaggle fuck, it's all mixed up in a whole um I guess personality at large you know now i can spot that and be like okay i can use that when i need it instead of letting that you know what i'm saying corrupt the whole fucking process mm -hmm. but yeah i have to that's another thing i had to do so i had to look at that part of myself all right take that out use that when you need it and like in this society today a lot of times you do need it because like you were saying the whole feminine shit like yeah yeah because it, it's it's like some people they they do it because they're saying you know i i, I want to be nice or i don't want to be mean and right. it's like if if you can't be mean then you can't really be nice it's just like some exactly. cowardly shit you exactly. know so you got to be able to have that shit on deck so yep. you can you, like be a monster about it when you need to exactly you know, but not have to be feel not feel compelled to 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 do it all the time you know right Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's the duality shit. You know what I'm saying? If you don't sit there and say you kind, okay, like the whole love and light shit. Like, nah, nah, em embrace that anger shit. Some oh, and I'm gonna say angry. Embrace that. You know what I'm saying? Mean shit sometimes. Right? Mm -hmm. You gonna need it. Yeah, every now and then you gotta shock a motherfucker because they ain't yeah. listening otherwise. You know, exactly. but it's not it's not to destroy them. You know, I remember I saw this one thing about like uh like um like maybe African villages and civilizations and whatnot, like they would be at war. And mm -hmm. like one of their principles was, okay, if you got the enemy cornered, just pin them on three sides. That right. way they have an option to leave if they, so you don't have to destroy them. Exactly, you know? yeah, it's tactfulness. Mm-hmm, I mean, I'm sure it's like when you boxing and you hitting somebody who's a novice, you know, you're not trying to just obliterate them to where this nigga never boxes again, you know? Exactly. <laughs> Which I have accidentally done, but, <laughs> <laughs> but you got the experience there. <laughs> yeah. But we know now. You know we take we take ill. You know so you learn it later. <laughs> yeah, life lessons, all else. Oh yeah, we gonna heard that man. And uh, because remember though, if if because I want to know, I want to make sure like the the information I convey. You know, I'm not trying to make it sound. You know different from somebody else's because i was having a conversation with somebody else the other day and i was right. telling them like you know these different frameworks you see it's it's different people making a map of the same thing you know so i'm not trying to make it sound extra cool so now i'm different from everybody else it's like i want to make sure it's concise and hits you the way you can receive it you know right so and, that's why yeah. i want to make sure i check for those places that aren't really clear on what i'm saying because i want to find the part where that's me Oh no, it, like the way it was like elaborated was, was perfect. Like I was able to take that and kind of make my own shit with it. Like the whole framework that you have. So, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, you know, it, it was pretty clear. Like I, that's really all I got to say about that question. Were you able to go back and look at the, um, the recordings and stuff? Okay. Um, I looked at, um, I don't remember which day I looked at. I did go back and look at some of the shit I did. When we was watching uh, Space, was it Spaceland and uh, Flatland and shit? Flatland. Like, I was like, oh, damn, I finally get that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> <laughs> like, I was spending so much time as, you know what I'm saying, Mike Cliff. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, okay, I see what's going on now. I'm like, all right. But, um, yeah, I went back to the corners. Um, I still watched a lot of your videos, like self deification, uh, parts one through five. Like, mm -hmm, I'm, shit, mm -hmm. I was like binge watching that shit. Cause I was, at first, it was like, damn, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Then I just kept watching it, kept watching it, kept watching it. I'm like, okay, I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to get it. You know? And then, not even just that, you know, just videos on, um, like, even the corporeal shit that you have as well. Um, that's about it. I just, I just stay in tune. That's what's up. Yeah. Cause it was, I wanted to make sure in the boot camp, we went over the self deification one on one stuff just to try and get it in there as much as I can so you can see that, you know, it's, just, it's a framework. I'm not trying to show you some new thing that no one's ever said ever. I mean, I mean we say it different, right. in a different way, but it's it's still the same stuff you've been saying. All right. All right.
All oh, right, let me get this other question. Oh, go ahead, man. Go ahead. I was gonna say another thing that I really, as far as the whole philosoph or philosophical shit, um, like grammar and shit. When I'm looking at words and shit, like I really dive deep into the meaning of the word instead of just, oh, okay, I said that word. I'm using this word. No, like, okay, what does that word mean? Like, why is it placed in that sentence the way it is? You know what I'm saying? Let me get the full exactly. context of that word. So when I use the shit, it's not just fucking bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you were saying, like energy, energy and fucking, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. And then even the, uh, like, I'll just look at a word as a container, like you said. So this container holds, like this word contains, you know, this specific type of um, substance in it. So, you know, so I can't just use another word and expect to get the same substance you know mm -hmm. so devil's in the details man yeah yeah, yeah. like um because that's why i had y'all define a few words you know just right. to well partially to get you know make sure you you had a little bit of footing in the idea of going and looking up words but also mm -hmm. so that you could see like a single word and how you would look at it has different ways you can look at it. Mm -hmm. So that, might, that word could be a container, but if you always pulling the one same thing out that you think it is, mm -hmm. you know, you miss the rest of the stuff in the container, you know? Right. Heck is, yeah. is that why they have like, um, that's the reason why they have different, um, I guess, definitions to like one word? Mm-hmm, there's different, there's different uses of it. Yeah, exactly. You know, and I gave y'all some easy ones for the boot camp just yeah. to make sure you could do it. But but when I when I come up with the rest of the coursework, I'm gonna have some other words in there that I make sure are pertaining to what we're doing so that you can continue to see that. Cause words, like we frame our thoughts in words. So it's like, it's so very important to, to be able to, to, well, so that you know to look for the detail. You know, you don't just settle for, right. you know, I feel this word is okay. But they, they, like we're saying, that's what you're doing. You know, you're actually looking at it. Exactly. Yeah. I appreciate that, man. I love that. I love that. I love it. All right, here, let me get this last question here. Um, 